York into North Jersey, the uh, Susquehanna Valley in Pennsylvania, the Lehigh Valley in Pennsylvania, Poconos all the way up to Albany. Winter storm warnings are in effect. Travel's going to be very difficult. The wind will blow. New York City, rain. Boston, snow and rain mix. D.C., rain. Not to worry. South, quiet. Travel conditions, good. That will draw on the difference between cold and warm and head right up to the northeast. Strengthening as it does, drawing moisture in from the Pacific, from the Atlantic Ocean, that's moist air, and also generating lots of wind. Gale warnings are in effect for the northeast, and there could even be some coastal flooding now that we're getting to an astronomical high tide. So, that's the big storm. Mid and high level moisture coming straight from the tropics, plus a fairly vigorous upper level disturbance, two centers of it right now, one digging through the Tennessee River Valley, another one through the Ohio River Valley. This will refocus the moisture. This is beginning to turn more negative. So rather than this moisture heading this way, it'll begin to turn back this way. And it's in this part of the country where we're expecting our heaviest snow. Next storm track, right across Oregon into the northern Rockies, where we've been paced light precipitation in the west, mainly in the Rockies. Heavy precipitation here in the northeast. Here's how we believe it'll come together. It's snowing right now in Utica, snowing in Syracuse, raining and drizzle in Washington, D.C. In Washington, D.C., it's 37 at Reagan National, 37 degrees, relative humidity, 97%. The potential for cooling is very minimal. We'll probably stay 36 or 37 degrees for the rest of tonight, and it will be rain in Washington, D.C. North and west of there, that's where the heavy, wet snow will be. Notice our rain snow line right along Interstate 95. It's just going to be one of those things. South Jersey looks like all rain. Northwest Jersey, west of the city, heavy wet snow tomorrow. Low pressure, there it comes. Mild air flooding in right along the coast, all the way to I-95. West of there, it's all snow. And there you have it. New York City, rain. Mixed with a little sleet or snow, say Bronxville, Yonkers, west toward Passaic, and then west of Passaic and up into uh, Orange and Putnam counties, we could see heavy snow too. Albany, you're deep into the snow, heavy snow. This is going to be back-breaking snow. I urge you to be very careful tomorrow as the snow tapers off in the Poconos, northwest Jersey, and here in southeastern New York and southern New England. Be very careful with that heavy snow. Take it maybe two or three inches at a time. It might take you a little longer to get that walk shoveled off, but we don't want to see anybody get hurt due to high water content snow. That's what this is going to be. So I-95, rain will be the main thing from Boston southward to Washington, D.C. And in Washington, the precipitation will be over by, say, noon, one, maybe two o'clock. All day rain in New York City and the island, mixed with snow, may start off as a little snow in New York City, change over to rain, flurries on the end of it. Boston, snow, mixes with rain, south shore, all rain, north and west of town outside 128, mostly snow. Stay with us on this one. We'll be keeping a close eye on it. Obviously, it'll be affecting lots of folks. Coming up next, it's meteorologist Mike Bono with Weather Center. Terrain north of Hartford, look for heavy snow along Interstate 84 to the north. Looks like coastal areas like Providence, probably some rain to, all the way back to around New Haven before it ends. Then you'll get a couple of inches. Similar story for New York City. Drive carefully, especially if you have any plans that take you into your interior sections. And if you're watching the Weather Channel uh, close to the workplace, you may want to uh, keep that in mind if you uh, can get out a little bit early today. Baltimore, Washington looks like rain, but may end with a little bit of snow. 44 of New York City is this snow continuing to come down. Visibility sliced on down over the last hour as they're crossing the Tappan Zee Bridge and headed in towards the city. Pretty nasty scenario still coming down. And fortunately, the roadways are still wet or damp, but it won't take much more dropping a temperature degree or two before we start to see those roads slickening up a little bit. So please drive carefully if you're out and about, especially north and west of Philly, north and west of New York City and eventually just to the west of Boston as this storm system continues to wrap on up. 
It's a major player throughout much of the northeast corridor of the United States. The low continues to eject northeast. It's a thin line between liquid and frozen precipitation, and that thin line is going to make the world of difference whether you're shoveling snow or watching the rain come down. It's been raining in D.C. It should wind on down to a little bit of light snow before it's over with. In Philadelphia, it's been raining, but not too far removed from the northwest back into Bucks County. It's snowing all the way from Pottstown, uh, settling back up into Williamsport, even around the Scranton area, northern New Jersey, as we've seen uh, reports earlier today around Morris County. And again, New York City, Central Park, JFK, LaGuardia, it's basically rain or a mix and then it's snowing at Newark. It's snowing, as we just saw, from Terrytown, uh, New York, uh, right around the Tappan Zee Bridge, and to the north and west in Rockland and Westchester counties. It's going to be quite a bit of snow before it's all said and done right in here. They could pick up an excess of 6 to 12 inches in a few locations in the Berkshires and the lower Hudson Valley, probably a foot of snow from West Point all the way into around North Adams. Be careful for some very heavy, wet snow. Please be careful shoveling out there. It's going to be a real mess. Now, coastal communities like D.C., it's warm enough for rain, 44. Ending with snow before it's over with, though. 39 in New York City with that mix. It'll be kicking into Boston probably a little bit later on this afternoon. And the southeast corner is the amount of salt that they're putting on the roads here. At least the major thoroughfares are able to keep up with it right now. But the secondary roads are snowpacked. I'm Jim Cantori. I'll have a live report for you coming up. Meanwhile, those of you in southern Connecticut, Long Island, and portions of southeastern Pennsylvania getting into the lower and mid-Hudson River valleys. That includes the Albany, Schenectady, Troy area, where we could see over half a foot of snow. Right now, we're seeing a mixture of rain and snow in the big cities, like, for example, at JFK International, where the temperature is above freezing. And we're looking at some rain, too, across portions of the mid-Atlantic region as we head toward Baltimore. But we've got the mixed bag all over the place today, and you can see the areas where we're picking up the heavy snow in the lower Hudson Valley, the Catskills, the Berkshires looking to pick up perhaps 8 to 10 inches of snowfall. An easterly wind though is warming us up along the coastline and that's why it's mainly some rainfall, although sleet is being mixed in with the rain in portions of New York City. So it's a dangerous drive. Temperatures are key with readings above freezing in many locales around the coastline because of the influence of the water. But that low is actually deepening and it's hugging the coast a little more tightly than originally forecasted. So we're not looking at big snows right now in the big cities, although we have heavy amounts in the forecast in the lower Hudson Valley, the northeastern part of Pennsylvania. It's snowing heavily now in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and we've been picking up some pretty heavy snow in the northern part of New Jersey. The drive home is going to be snowy, say around Springfield, Mass, getting into Pittsfield, Mass, back toward Albany, Schenectady, and Troy. Now near New York City is our Jim Cantori in Terrytown, New York, and he gives us an update on the wintry scene. I see that precipitation uh, falling pretty vigorously there, Jim. It really is, Bob. We're continuing to get the, the heavy snow here, and what's happened is the consistency of the snow has changed. Instead of the wet flakes that we have gotten, we still got a wet snow, but they're a lot more widely scattered. In other words, there's more single flakes as opposed to clutched together. So that's not surprising looking at what you just showed on the radar because we're starting to see some sleet mix in in New York City. So because this storm is basically one big mass of rising air motion, it's cooling the whole column. So even though the temperatures at the surface are above 36, we still have a cold enough layer and dry enough layer so we're supporting a mostly snow element here. So what that means is some of this snowfall is actually gonna start piling up a little bit faster because it's not going to take as much water. It's going to take less water, I should say, to actually produce more snow. You can see the roads behind me here are slushy. There's a lot more spray coming up, but I'll tell you, because there's so much water in this snow and because we are above freezing, the salt is having a maximum impact on the roads. So the major thoroughfares are not too bad here. You're looking at the toll booth coming from the east, coming from Rockland County over this way. Developing offshore, and what that probably means is that we're going to see a continuation of rain changing the snow along the coastline and even further up towards New England that's where we're seeing temperatures rising this morning but they will also follow the same suite of uh, motions in which their winds will go over from northeasterly then again to north uh, from easterly towards northerly and their rain will also change the snow after a period of significant rainfall. The white line represents our rain snow line and that has been drifting south and east oh so slowly but definitely progressively over the last several hours it has now passed through Trenton. We're now seeing still rain in Philadelphia, but we're seeing Willow Grove with heavy snow. Wilmington, Delaware is now mixing in with snow. Baltimore, Maryland is mixing in with snow. It's all snow in the Washington area, and there's still some dark greens. They're heading up towards the Baltimore area, so especially north and west of the city. 
that's where we should see significant snow accumulations. Keep in mind, with 32 degree line primarily to the northwest, most of this is going to be wet snow. Not a lot of problems on the roads, but that said, when the snow comes down very hard, even above freezing, some of the roads could become very slushy, and that will be the case today as we get across northern New Jersey and even into the New York City area as we get later this afternoon and evening, when the snowfall rates could actually come down quite hard. The changeover to snow will be later across portions of southern New England. Initially, again, right there was going to be some light snow and sleet, but that's going to all turn into heavy snow later today with the heaviest snows falling across portions of the uh, interior portions of the Northeast. More than a foot of snow, a very terrible rush hour coming up for a lot of people in the Northeast. I'll give an idea of snowfall amounts during my next broadcast. Let's go back to Melissa in the studio. Thanks a lot, winter weather expert Paul Kosin with a look at this ever-changing winter storm across the Northeast. Now, for those of you in the South, it's also reporting 34 degrees in snow. As we travel around the Boston area, generally clouds are... Go down toward the Poconos, including the Catskills. Winter storm warning in effect for the lower Hudson Valley. Warm, though, across the southern part of the country, so... While those of you in southern Connecticut, Long Island, and portions of southeastern Pennsylvania can expect some heavy rain during your evening rush hour. Therefore, we have sleet and snow in Philadelphia. We have all snow now at LaGuardia International, although it's mixed in with a little rain at JFK. But let me tell you, broadly speaking, uh, winter storm warnings are in effect for Boston and New York City, but the areas that are going to see the heaviest amounts of snow are the areas now that you see the white end on this radar picture, uh, getting into the uh, uh, mountains, the Catskills, getting into the Poconos, the Berkshires around Albany, Schenectady, Troy, where there's a winter storm warning in effect. We could see easily over half a foot. And in northern New Jersey, we've already picked up several inches of snow. Of course, temperatures are key in all this. Closer to the water you get, the warmer it is. 34 in New York, but 29 in Albany. So this is going to accumulate in the greater Albany area. And as this low moves toward the north, look at the snows this evening across the Berkshires, down to the Poconos and the Caskills. Let's turn to Jim Cantori, who's in Terrytown, New York, not far from New York City. And uh, Jim, it would do well if you had on your glasses some of those windshield wipers of uh, like <laughs> things to help you see a little bit. It's come down pretty good there. It really is. Actually, my, my hat's acting like a little shield right now, Bob. It's, it's keeping the flakes from getting on the glasses, or it would be a, a rather rough day, to say the least. But you know what? I'm really concerned about what's happening here. Um, we, let's just give you an example. It's, it's 36 degrees is what the temperature was a couple of hours ago. And because of this cooling that's going on, I mean, think about this, folks. We have a storm. We have rising air motion. When air rises, it cools. So it can wind up cooling if it, if it rises enough and rapidly enough, the whole column of air. And that's what's happened. White Plains, the temperatures dropped down to 34 degrees. We've still got the same intensity of the snow, and therefore the slush on the roads is becoming a little bit more evident here. In other words, the salt is not just melting it as quickly as it was. It's having a harder time doing it, especially given these snowfall rates. Now, the Tappan Zee Bridge, which is normally behind me only about a mile and a half, if that, is not seen at all. Right now, our visibility is at best, at best, uh, a half a mile to three quarters of a mile, and that's about it. And that's exactly what we're anticipating as we go on through this afternoon. And let's go ahead and show you the Metro Radar out of New York City. I think we're going to have some big problems for the rush hour as we go into tonight. Because the storm was delayed a little bit this morning, uh, and because the storm is actually cooling the air, we're seeing that rain snow line shift down now into the city. And so as you head out of the city, you're going to run into the slow traffic or in, the, in these slow roads and these slippery roads a lot sooner than you normally would. So folks, take it easy tonight if you are heading out for the rush hour or even heading out for lunch because we are going to have some major problems in the thoroughfares, especially with the snow coming down. Already reports of four to eight inches of snow in northern New Jersey, and we are getting more and more of that here in the Hudson Valley. I've got about two to four where I'm standing here in Terrytown. The roads are slushy. The airports are averaging one to two hours worth of delays. A lot of the schools have been closed, and some are being sent home early, like in Wayne, uh, in Wayne New Jersey, for example. Uh, it's just a mess here. It's just a mess here this afternoon. Let's find out how much worse this storm is actually going to get. Let's go to our winter weather expert as we'll come back to you this afternoon. Right now, here's Paul Kosin. Well, Jim, it looks like it's starting to get a lot worse. We're still getting those conditions where it's rain changing the snow across all of New York City now. All of Long Island seems to be reporting those snow. And even across southern Connecticut, even eastern Connecticut, New London was 37 with light rain, is now 34, and they've changed over to snow. So we're seeing this persistent shift of rain to snow from west to east across the area. Still one little saving grace is that immediately along the coastline, it is still above freezing. But even with above freezing temperatures, they will probably fall close to freezing. And if this snow comes down really hard, and it is looking better that it probably will be coming down very hard, 
even with temperatures above freezing or slightly near freezing, the roads could start getting quite bad quite quickly. Let's take a look. The storm system now deepening rapidly off of the uh, Maryland, Virginia coastline. It is moving out to the east northeast. As it does so, we're seeing cold air continue to come in, 32 degree line indicated in red. So it's all of this area where it's really crippling snows. We're getting moderate to heavy snows with temperatures below freezing. But now we're getting all through southeastern Pennsylvania, even Philadelphia in the last hour. You've changed over from rain to a combination of sleep and snow. You've mixed in with snow in Wilmington, Delaware, and Baltimore. Undoubtedly, this is going to be continuing to press on towards the east. So look for the rain changing to snow in the metropolitan areas all the way up through, through this afternoon. And as we'll start seeing accumulations, even in the major cities, initially on whatever grassy surfaces there are, it's going to be very hard to initially accumulate on the streets. But with the heaviest precipitation to come, especially as anybody's trying to get home, it looks like some of those snow totals uh, will start accumulating on all the side roads and even some of the major roads when the snow comes down heavily this evening. So look for worsening conditions across Philadelphia during the next several hours and much worse conditions occurring across much of northern New Jersey, New York, western Long Island as we get towards the evening. And then the storm heads out towards New England where we expect the same sorts of conditions even in the Boston metropolitan area. We'll give you an updated snowfall uh, graphic on that uh, on the next show, and let's turn it over to Melissa. Thanks a lot, winter weather expert Paul Kosin with the very latest on the storm in the Northeast. But for those of you across the South, it's a great day to be outside, a day that you don't want